Welcome back to Factor 85 Labs. Let's talk some more about first aid kits. So I want to talk about a first aid kit for your home. Now, you probably have some type of first aid kit or first aid area without really thinking about it. You've probably got a medicine cabinet in your bathroom or a shelf where you keep all your band-aids and uh, antibiotic ointment and your vitamins and spare medications. And that really is your first aid kit for your house. If you wanted to have something more portable, you could put together a little tote or a bag. Just the stuff that's in this car kit would be fine for a home first aid kit. Now because I have wanted to keep my first aid kit advice relatively practical. I thought about just skipping this bag right here and not even talking about it. But I thought I would kind of run through it so you can see this kit and why this is not necessarily practical for everyone. So this is a, a first aid kit that my wife and I have put together that isn't really our home first aid kit. But we do keep this kit in the house and it's generally in this shape most of the time. And this is, I guess, more of like a home base first aid kit. It generally stays in the house, but we do take this with us sometimes. So it might be going to volunteer with a youth group or going on a trip with a group of people, uh, camping, maybe we're going caving and I want to have this in the car because I know there's a higher risk of injuries. This is a kit that just goes when I feel like I might need more than is in that car kit. I'm not going to go through every item in this kit because that would take forever. So I'm just going to go through and show you just the areas of this kit and briefly what is in there. Uh, this bag is a bag that I got for work um, years ago. So this is definitely not necessary for a kit like this. I've got a couple things on the outside. I have a little glove pouch on the shoulder strap of the bag. I've got a CPR mask, just a real simple mask, clipped on the outside of the bag. This pocket has some things like a CPR pocket mask. Uh, it's got some airway management things in here. Um, it's got biohazard bags, vomit bags, different plastic bags. And then it has all the medications just your common things, allergy medications, ibuprofen, Tylenol, that type of stuff. So this pocket on this end has a lot of rehydration stuff. So powdered drink mix, um, Noom, and it's got some emergency blankets. So just some stuff in here for like heat emergencies, dehydration, that's in that end. So this pocket on this end has, let's see, a bulb syringe for irrigating or suctioning. It's got an entire box of alcohol swabs. Uh, just some little odds and ends tossed in here. This pocket on the front has an entire box of nitro gloves. It's also got things like pens, pen light, um, a pair of scissors. We've got hand sanitizer, sanitizer wipes, um, N95 masks. So a whole bunch of little accessories, notebook, and little pockets up here. There's a bunch of little like pen pouches stuff tucked up here. Now let's look in the big main compartment here. So on the underside of the lid, there's a big pocket here, and this is full of Ace Wraps, Coban, uh, just different wrapping stuff. So a whole bunch of stuff all crammed in this pocket on the back of the lid. There's scissors. So here's tape. Um, I like to keep all of my tape on a little loop like this. So when I'm working on something or I'm working on bandaging someone up, I can pull the tape out and clip it on the side and get to the tape that I want, or I can take off the tape that I need really easily. So all my tape is clipped on a little loop into things like a tourniquet is right inside the top. We've got trauma dressings, wound packing stuff. This bag is all wound dressing stuff, so rolled gauze, 
ABD pads, gauze pads, you know, all different sizes. Here's small bandages and steri strips, normal size, you know, just different size bandages. Uh, this is an oral care bag, so toothbrush, some uh, toothpaste, dental floss. There's some temporary cavity fillings in here. If you have a broken tooth or something, having a little dental care bag is very handy. And then uh, Meta Honey and Hydrocortisone cream. Okay, so into the back of this kit, this is where I've got uh, some instruments. So I carry a glucometer in here, a pulse oximeter, a thermometer, and a blood pressure cuff and stethoscope. So this is a bag that's got some chest seals, things like that. There's some syringes for irrigating. Basically this little pouch is all the little tools that I might need. So things like tweezers, nail clippers, hemostats, uh, tissue forceps, needle drivers. There's also sutures in here, um, scalpels, scalpel blades. I've uh, got a whole bunch of different size SAM splints. So everything from like big 36 inch down to some little finger size. So I don't expect that this is a kit that everyone would put together. Um, from the very first video that I did on first aid, I talked about getting education first. If you're putting together a kit for your house, Put together the stuff that you know how to use and then get that education. Build your kit from there. And that's that. That is the giant kit that I keep sitting around the house. It doesn't go with me everywhere, but it's there when I feel like I need more than what's normally in the car or what I carry in my backpack or in my pocket. So I've got this kit put together. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that little like button. If you want to see more videos from Factor 85 Labs, hit that subscribe button. I promise I won't do more first aid videos. Just kidding, I probably will.